Hey there, Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. I want to warn you, I'm on the soapbox, so just wanted to put that out there. So recently I saw a video by a relationship coach, I'm suspecting, and she said so many people are having hope for a restoration in a relationship and they're stuck and wasting their time. So my video is about is it okay to have hope for an ex? Well, I just, that video just rubbed me wrong. So she said, if the relationship was good, it never would have ended anyway. Lady, lady, lady. Okay, let's get this out there out in the open. If you were and are in an abusive relationship, or you are the abuser, or you are verbally abusive, physically abusive, slapping the, the guy in the mouth or the the guys punch you in the head. This is bad. And neither of you should want anything like that. If you are in a relationship where you are a serial che cheater, you keep cheating on your guy and he keeps forgiving you, you keep doing it, or he keeps cheating on you, again, toxic. So some relationships we shouldn't even want to be restored anyway. So that's neither here nor there. But if someone that you were with or if you're married and your husband or wife falls into a depression, postpartum depression, if their mother dies, your father dies, a sibling dies, and they become isolated and depressed, if they hate their job, they run into financial ruin, somebody you're dating or something, and they have a sick parent and they shut down, these are all valid reasons. And guess what? I am Tammy C. Walker, and when my mom passed away from cancer in 2012, I checked out of my relationship. I wasn't present. I was grieving. So I have a problem with that video. For people to get on YouTube and tell you not to have hope for restoration in a relationship, that's wrong. It really is. I'm in a breakup. I want my relationship to be restored. But here's the, here's the key. Guess what I still do? my juices, I drink my spinach, blueberry, cucumber juice, um, I exercise by walking, I do my meditation, I do my prayers, I script, journaling, positive thoughts, I make these YouTube videos, I just got back from Nashville, Tennessee, I'm planning to go on another trip, I keep it moving. So as long as you keep it moving, you better have hope. I had hope when I had cancer to be healed and I'm healed. I had hope for my mom to be healed when she was sick three times before she passed and she was healed. I had hope to graduate with my master's in social work and I did. You gotta have hope. Too many times people are dumping people and run into a new bed and that's not, that's not where it's at. And I'm not saying get stuck on somebody and stop living your life and say, oh, please, baby, baby, please, I hope they come back. I'm never going to go on another date until they come back. That's not good. You don't want to get stuck on nobody like that. But you do want to have hope for restoration if it was a good relationship. And there's nothing wrong with that. But keep it moving. Keep doing you and keep enjoying your life. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They are going to come back or they'll never come back. Either way, you're going to be okay because you're going to be healed. And guess what? The good Lord up above will send you who you're supposed to be with. So it's a win-win. So, you know, I love YouTube. I love watching videos. I watch a lot of them. I love doing my own. But I hope, hope, hope I'm not on here selling you hogwash or telling you untrue things. There are so many people that break up, they get back together, and they go on to have a happy life. Sometimes we break up with people because we need to work on ourselves and come back together as one. Sometimes we break up with people because that wasn't who you're supposed to be with and your time is up and you're going to get a better match. So again, it's a win-win. Don't tell people not to have hope for restoration. They've mar they're married 10 years with three babies and maybe the man's mother passed and he checked out. Don't do that. That's not cool. I have a problem with that. So that just really fired me up. So I had to say something about that. And I'm sure this person is highly knowledgeable. She didn't mean any harm. But let me tell you something else. I've been living almost 50 years. I've been married. I've been divorced. I've been abused. I've beat cancer twice. 
I've been back to school a few times. I've had a lot of jobs. I lost hope for my parents. I've been through a lot of shit. And I could tell you a lot about life. So I'm not saying everything I know is true or everything I know is right, but I'm telling you what I've been through and I'm telling you what I've seen. So I'm not going to feed you a bunch, a bunch of hogwash. This is my opinion that I'm saying. These are my opinions, but a lot of this is life lessons that I've lived. Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, Therapist, Social Worker. Please hit subscribe, hit like. Drop me some comments about having hope for a ex to come back or for a restoration. Give me your thoughts on that. What do you feel about that? Okay. Thank you. Bye.